Hi everyone, I'm Michael Parsons. In today's reflection, the gospel passage, Luke 16, 19, takes us back to the story of Lazarus and the rich man. Lazarus sat outside the gates of the rich man's house, begging for just the scraps from the rich man's table. When both had died, the rich man was tormented in Hades, and Lazarus was beside Abraham. The rich man begged Abraham to send Lazarus to dip his hands in cool water and just to cool his tongue. Abraham stated in Luke 16:25, "Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Raz Lazarus received bad things. But now he's comforted here, and you are in agony." Have you ever had to beg? I like to everyone to try to picture what that would be like, because we're all one bad day away from homelessness or poverty. I've experienced it myself, and it's really amazing how quickly the house of cards we have all built up for ourselves can fall down. I've come to realize that struggle is actually a blessing in disguise. If you have no struggle or want in life, then it's definitely harder to feel that pull from the Holy Spirit or the want of God from your heart. This life is very short compared to what comes next, but what we do in this short time matters, especially to those who are struggling and anyone who needs us. Christ said, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of my, these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Matthew twenty five forty. Let's challenge ourselves to see Christ and all those that don't have security in housing or food or love. Today's act is to prepare several meatless meals and then donate the money that we save to a local soup pantry or kitchen. We have a great program in our parish for this as well. If you see a homeless person, acknowledge them. Many that get walked by just like Lazarus think they're invisible. Nobody cares. Let's see the face of Christ in them and greet them just like we would him. Poverty is one of the greatest crimes of our age. We have enough to go around for everyone, but it doesn't seem like that happens. <clears throat> Let's go out and be ambassadors of Christ in this Lenten season. God bless.